Hey guys, we're making macaroni and cheese today. My favorite way to make macaroni and cheese is with these ingredients right here. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. Of course, as always, the ingredients and the measurements will be at the end of the show. So I'm just gonna run through this really quick with you guys. But I have about, what is this, about two cups of uh, heavy cream. Now to thin that out a little bit, we're also gonna add some water. So we're gonna get that into the pot here. Two cups of heavy cream into a nice hot pot. And we're just gonna make like a cheese sauce to start out with. Um, it's easier like this for me um, to just kind of make a cheese sauce in a hot pan and get it going this way first. Um, I like to use a variety of cheeses. Now, a lot of people are gonna hate me for this one, but it works. I'm telling you, it always works. American cheese slices. I know, I know. But there's a place for it, my friends. There is a place for American cheese slices. And the place is in macaroni and cheese and on American burgers, okay? Argue with me about this later. I put about eight slices of this in here. So I'm just gonna peel these weird cheese slices off my plate that have been stuck here. Just put that into the pot. And it melts, you know, the thing about American cheese slices is it melts really well, like it's melting on my plate right now. It melts incredibly well. So we're just gonna put that in there, let it melt down with other great melting cheeses like Gruyere and Gouda both of which are amazing and I love. And they'll give, it, they'll give this macaroni and cheese a lot of flavor. This is Gruyere, I've cut it into a couple, some cubes. I'm gonna put that in there as well. All right, and I'm gonna reserve a little bit of my Gouda here. This is about a half a pound of Gouda. I'm gonna reserve a little bit to sprinkle on top. So we'll sprinkle about three quarters of that in there and leave the rest for later. All right. Now I've got my mix up salt here. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that in there and always, always, always put black pepper in your macaroni and cheese. It adds a wonderful flavor. All right, we're gonna give this a stir. Turn up the heat, get it to melt down a bit. Now you can also use an egg in your macaroni and cheese. To A lot of people use a beaten egg in their macaroni and cheese to kind of hold everything together. And that's a great technique as well to use. You can also use, which this is what we're gonna be doing today, some breadcrumbs. So if you have some croutons that you've made, I have a video that makes awesome croutons, you should definitely check that out. But um, you get those croutons, you put them in a blender, blend them up into a nice uh, breadcrumb, and then you can put that into your, um, your macaroni and cheese as well, and that will hold it together kind of in place of that egg. So we'll mix this up and I'm gonna turn this up just a little bit more. In the meantime, while that's mixing, we're gonna, I already made some macaroni. Um, I just followed the recipe on the box basically. And what we're gonna do is put that in the pan here. And you wanna make sure that when you're making your macaroni, it's really al dente because basically you're gonna be putting this into the oven. So you don't wanna overcook your macaroni before it gets into the oven because then it'll just end up being like a mush, okay? So now we're gonna take these breadcrumbs, these beautiful breadcrumbs that we made from our wonderful croutons, which already are seasoned and just nice and buttery tasting and golden. And we're gonna sprinkle these into the macaroni. This is about a half, one and a half cups. Um, so we'll sprinkle that all in there. Now I'm gonna leave just a little bit here and I'm gonna mix this with that Gouda that I had left over. I'm gonna use it on top to kind of make a nice crispy topping. All right, so just mix that in there just like that. And make sure it's really incorporated very, very well. All right, I dropped one, nobody saw that. Put it right back in there. Okay, all right. Now you can also add a little pinch of cayenne if that's what you're into. I like everything to be a little bit spicy. So a little heat on the back doesn't hurt. And then we'll mix that in too. And then just be careful with the salt, the amount of salt that you add in here because once again, you've already added salt in your croutons and then you've already, you already have the salt from, you have salt in your cheese and then I've added a little bit of salt as well. So just make sure you're being careful and cognizant of the amount of salt that you're putting in. Okay, so that looks perfect, that's beautiful. And hopefully the, the olive oil that's on the croutons will actually help the, um, the macaroni from not sticking. Okay, so this 
is starting to melt down very, very nicely. I'm just gonna give it a couple more minutes and just to make sure everything is really incorporated. All right, and then once this gets melted down, I'm just gonna pour this right on top and then I'm going to mix my, my, crouton, my breadcrumbs with the Gouda cheese and sprinkle on top and then I'm gonna put it in the oven. Hey guys, so I totally forgot to put the sour cream in, which is one of the main ingredients. It kind of really punches up the flavor of all the cheeses. So what I'm gonna do, and if you make this mistake as well, you can do the same thing, but basically I'm gonna temper my sour cream. Now if you put, this, if you put cold sour cream directly into this hot cheese sauce, it's gonna curdle. So you wanna just kind of take a little bit of the cheese sauce, stir it in with the sour cream. You're just basically bringing the sour cream up to temperature so that it's not getting shocked when it goes into the cheese sauce. Okay, so we're gonna stir that up. We'll add a bit more. Just a little bit at, the t at a time. You don't wanna shock the, the sour cream and get it curdled. And you know, it's nice to do it in a glass dish like this where you can feel the temperature kind of go up. So we'll mix that up a little bit more. Make sure it's nice and incorporated. And I'm gonna do it one more time. A bit more sauce that time. And after this, it should be good to go in. So make sure you get all the lumps out. Mix it up nicely. If you have one of those little um, whisks, this is a good time to use it. I don't have one of those, so I'm using a spoon. All right, cool. So it is mixed up, it's nice and tempered, and now we can just pour it on in. All right. And we'll give this a stir. And you can see that the sour cream is just kind of melting right in there not curdling at all, behaving nicely. And we're just gonna turn up the heat a little bit. And I think this is ready to pour on top of the macaroni. We have a couple of little chunks of Gruyere in there, but that is completely fine. So you guys should have added the sour cream in the beginning, right when you were adding all of your liquids because you wanted it to come up to temperature with everything else. You don't want it to, um, to be at a different temperature than the cheese sauce or else it will curdle. Because we have those cheese chunks that kind of stuck in one spot, we'll just give it a stir. Make sure everything is incorporated. All right. Then we also have the rest of our Gouda cheese and the rest of our breadcrumbs. I'm gonna mix those up together. And this will be a nice, crunchy, you know, cheesy topping on top of your macaroni and cheese. And we'll just place that all over the top. Try to evenly distribute it as much as possible. Get all your edges. Edges are always great when they're nice and crispy. Perfect, now we're gonna pop it in the oven and we're gonna have amazing macaroni and cheese in about 30 minutes. Hey guys, welcome back to my Sunday supper. Look at this spread, isn't this amazing? We did our mustard greens right here with our smoked turkey necks and our sweet peppers. We also added some habaneros in there to give it a little bit of heat. 
not at all too hot. Those habaneros cook down for a while. And like I said, when you cook your hot peppers for a while, the heat is really like less. It's, it's really detensified. If that's a word, I don't know. But it's amazing. Um, definitely add a little bit more salt. Um, add a little bit more flavor as you go to your liking, to your taste. I added also a bit of rice wine vinegar just to give it a little bit of acidity. That always helps. Whatever you want to do, it really the, the, the thing that matters here is you want to add onions, you want to add your greens, and you want to add smoked meat. That's your holy trinity right here. So keep that in mind for your greens. Also, we have our macaroni and cheese, completely decadent, amazing. So what we did there is we added Gouda cheese, Gruyere, and I know guys, I know you're still judging me, but it's American cheese. American cheese works in things. It really, really does. There's place for it. There's a place for some of these processed foods. I would not tell you to use it if it didn't work. So it's beautifully creamy and wonderful. And then we finished it off with that Gouda and, um, and crouton topping, which, um, which was basically breadcrumbs that we made from the croutons that were heavily seasoned with olive oil and my mix-up salt, which is just basically whatever seasonings that you like, salt, thyme, whatever, you can do whatever you want, mix it up. But really the important thing here in the macaroni and cheese is that you use really good sharp cheeses, a nice creamy cheese, like American cheese, and then a, a nice dense cream, that's important. You gotta use either heavy cream or half and half. So definitely, Remember that I'm telling you the truth here. Okay, guys believe me when I say American cheese works here So I'm so happy that you guys joined me. I I think I'm gonna eat though. So 